Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the dock and menu bar settings on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to click on this Apple logo and then click on system settings option here, which is going to open this kind of system settings uh, window. You can also open the system settings by clicking on this system settings icon on the dock. Once system setting uh, window opens, on the left hand side you can see this menu which you can scroll and you will be able to see this option here which says desktop and dock. So I'm going to click on this option and from here you can see you can change the desktop and dock settings. Also you have the option to change the menu bar settings. So the first option here is for the dock size. So if you move it to the left hand side, it's going to make your dock smaller. And if you move this dock to the right hand side, it's going to make your dock bigger, right? Or larger. You also have the option for the magnification. So you also have the option for magnification. By default, it's off. So when the magnification is off, you can see when I hover over any icon on the dock, it does nothing. But when I enable it by moving it on the right hand side on the slider, let me make it a little bit bigger and you will see the difference. You can see it does the magnification of the icons when you enable it and make it bigger, right? So from here, you can uh, change that setting also. You can also uh, change the position uh, of the dock on the screen. By default, it's bottom. You can make it left. You can make it uh, right. And you can uh, just move it to the bottom, which is the default setting. You also have the option to minimize window using Genie effect, right? So when you minimize some window, it's going to be minimized in uh, the genie effect. So let me show what does this mean. So when I open the Safari app and when I minimize this, it's going to be a minimized in genie uh, effect, right? You also have the scale effect, which is going to minimize your apps using the scale effect. Also, when I double click a windows, title is going to zoom that window so for example so when i double click on this top area it's going to maximize uh, the safari browser right that's for that also i have the option to minimize window into uh, application icon i can enable it automatically hide and show the dock which uh, is disabled by default when i enable it it's going to hide the dock and when you hover over your mouse at the bottom, uh, it's going to enable the dock and show you the dock, right? So this is for that. And then we also have the option for animate opening applications, show indicator for open application and show recent uh, application in dock, right? So by default, these three are enabled. That means uh, when you open any application recently, it's going to show you in this area and then show indicator for open application. So whatever applications are opened, you can see this dot under them. That means they are currently open. And you also have the option for animate opening uh, application, right? Now you also have the option for the menu bar here. So automatically hide and show the menu bar in full screen only. Uh, by default, this option is selected. You can choose never here. All you can select always here, which means that uh, by default it's going to be disabled. And when you just hover over on top, uh, it's going to be enabled, right? So let me make it the default, which is in full screen only, which is going to show this menu bar. These are the options related to your windows and apps, right? Let's say you want to uh, enable some more, uh, icons on the menu bar what you can do is you can just scroll here and select the control center option here and then you will see all these options so by default 
this Wi-Fi option is visible on the menu bar because it says show in menu bar but Bluetooth icon is not visible so I can just select show in menu bar and then this Bluetooth icon is also visible here and then I can enable or disable the Bluetooth using this menu bar icon itself right so from here you can also add or remove items from your menu bar and they are going to be visible or hidden from the menu bar based on the settings here in the control center so this is how you can adjust the dock and menu bar settings on your Mac operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.